Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV's Prime at 9. I'm Naomi Kikon, now the news in detail. At least 13 all Adivasi National Liberation Army cutters have surrendered arms in Bogajan area of Assam on Sunday. The cutters laid down their arms including four AK series rifles, five pistols and assorted life ammunition and have chosen the path of peace and prosperity. The Indian Army in a release stated, We didn't aim to promote peace and harmony in the region. The security forces of Spear Corps have always endeavored to mainstream the misguided youth who have taken up the path of insurgency. Towards this aim, six sector Assam rifles under the aegis of Spear Corps in conjunction with Assam police through their relentless efforts have successfully persuaded homecoming of 13 active cadres of ANNLA who laid down their arms, the release further stated. Moreover, the security forces compliment the youth for this decision and wish that all those who have chosen the wrong path join back into the mainstream and live a happy and peaceful life. Families of the surrenderers also expressed their gratitude to the security forces for bringing their loved ones back to the family safely. <laughs> এখন সন্ত্রাস মুক্ত যে আমার মাননীয় মুখ্যমন্ত্রী সারে যুক্ত আহ্বান দিয়েছিল তার আহ্বানের মর্মে আজি আমার বেশ কিছুদিনের পর আমার সেক্টর কমান্ডার ব্রিগেডিয়ার তিওয়ারী আর দুজন কর্নেল আর এস পি কার্বিয়াং নেতৃত্ব যদি আমার এই প্রারম্ভিক কথা বতরা হয়েছিল তাতে আন্না সদস্য সকলে আহিবলে মূল হোটেলে আহিবলে ইচ্ছা প্রকাশ করলে আর তার ফলশ্রুতিতে আজি তেরোজন আন্না সদস্যই চারি তারিখে পড় দিয়েছিলেন আর চারিটা পৃষ্ঠর পর আরক্ষী আর আসাম রাইফেলসর সাতের জন আদি আজ মূলে প্রত্যাবর্তন করে The bail of eight people allegedly involved in the recent communal clashes at Delhi's Jahangirburi has been rejected by a local court, which said the accused are well-known local criminals and the release may intimidate witnesses. The judge also reprimanded the Delhi police for not stopping the illegal procession and demanded that the police chief investigate the matter and fix accountability among the officers involved. 20 people were arrested over the violence in the northwest Delhi locality that took place during a Ram Navami procession last month in which eight policemen and a civilian were injured. It was found later that the procession took place without police permission and the altercation with members of the minority community took place in the presence of the police. The judge also reprimanded the Delhi police for not stopping the illegal procession, saying prima facie it shows a failure on part of the police. Accountability should be fixed on the guilty officers, the court said, ordering the police chief to investigate the matter. Senior officers appeared to have sidelined the issue, the court said. There is a need to fix responsibility on the part of the concerned authorities so that such incidents do not happen in future and the police do not fail to stop illegal activities, the judge said. The Nagpur chapter of the Indian Institute of Management should not only be an excellent center of academic training ground, but it should also be the midpoint of life molding experience for the students at the campus, President Ramnath Kovin said on Sunday while inaugurating the new IIM campus at Nagpur. The president said that the educational institutes are not just mere places of learning, it's the place which polishes the inner and sometimes hidden talents of students. The curriculum gives us the opportunity to introspect within ourselves the purpose, the ambition and hence fulfill our dreams, he added. 
He insisted on innovation and entrepreneurship among students and said that both innovation and entrepreneurship have the ability to not just ease our lives through technology, but can also provide employment opportunities to many people. Appreciating the IIM for establishing seven centers of excellence, Kovin said, the IIM, though the Center for Entrepreneurs has established IIM Nakpur Foundation for Entrepreneurs Development and it was a matter of immense pride that INFAT has successfully enabled women entrepreneurs to graduate from women's startup program and six of them have even launched their enterprises. Our daughters, whenever provided an adequate platform, will always shine to the optimum and it will be a true tribute to the land of Savidri Bai Fule and Anandi Bai Joshi, Kovin added. Union Ministers Nidin Gadkari and Tarmendra Pratan, Maharashtra Ministers Nidin Raut and Shubash Desai and leader of the opposition Devendra Fatnavis were also present at the inaugural function. Ramnath Govind, 76, will be retiring as the president in July after an uneventful term. The million-dollar question is whether Modi can spring a surprise again by bringing in yet another low-profile loyalist into Rashtrapati Pavan. In 2017, Modi and Shah had played the Dalit card to the hilt by proposing the name of a silent leader wearing the loyalty tag on his sleeve. The duo had played it close to the chest so much so that even the RSS top brass is said to have been unaware of the choice till virtually the last moment. I take the praise of Ramnath Kovind I take the praise of Ramnath Kovind मैं श्रद्धा पूर्वक भारत के राष्ट्रपति के पद का कार्यपालन करूंगा भारत के राष्ट्रपति के पद का कार्यपालन करूंगा Two months ahead of the election the contest to choose the next occupant of the Rashtrapati Bhavan has yet to pick up pace with both the government and opposition yet to clear the air on their candidates The names of Kerala governor Arif Mohat Khan, Vice President N. Venkaya Naidu, Telangana Governor Tamil Sai Sondraya Rajan, SM Governor Jagdish Mukhi, former Jharkhand Governor Tropati Murnu, and Chhattisgarh Governor Anusia Uke are being taken on the government side and of NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar and former Lok Sabha Speaker Meera Kumar among the opposition. If Pawar throws his hat in the ring, then he could emerge as a joint opposition candidate with his political experience, a three-time Maharashtra Chief Minister and Defence and Agriculture Minister at the centre and his relations across party lines, leaving the PJP on the back foot. President of Nationalist Congress Party, which he founded in 1999 after parting ways from the Congress, he is currently a Rajya Sabha member. Baba was the chairman of the Board of Control for Cricket in India, BCCI, from 2005 to 2008, and the president of the International Cricket Council. From Congress, it could be Mira Kumar, who has been a union minister too and contested elections in the past too. On the government side, several names are doing the rounds, but with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's penchant for surprises, picking up Bihar Governor Ramnath Kovin in 2017 could be displayed again. Kerala Governor Khan could be a choice to display the government's inclusive side, while he has been a vocal supporter of government policies on various issues. Starting his political career as a student leader, he rose to become the president of Aligarh Muslim University Students Union in 1972 to 73 before his political debut in 1977 when he was elected to the UP Assembly. He subsequently joined the Congress and was elected to the Lok Sabha in 1980 from Kanpur and 1984 from Maharaj. In 1986, he quit Congress due to differences over the passage of Muslim personal law bill, nullifying the Shah Bano judgment by the Rajiv Gandhi government. 
Khan joined the Janata Dal and was re-elected to the Lok Sabha in 1989 and served as Civil Aviation and Energy Minister in the VP Singh government. He subsequently joined the Bahujan Samaj Party and was again elected to the Lok Sabha in 1998 from Baraya. In 2004, he joined the Parthi Janata Party but only gained prominence after he was appointed Kerala Governor in 2019. Venkaya Naidu is another strong possibility. Beginning his career as an MLA in Andhra Pradesh Legislative Assembly, he was in 1983 elected as a member of the Rajya Sabha from Karnataka in 1998. He has served as Union Minister both in the Atal Bihari Vajpayee government and then the Narendra Modi government before being elevated as Vice President. I am Venkaya Naidu. I am Iswar Ki Safat Leta Hongi. I am Vidhi Dwara Istapit. I am Vidhi Dwara Istapit. Bharat Ke Samvidhan Ke Prati. Bharat Ke Samvidhan Ke Prati. If the Modi government decides to field a sitting governor as a candidate like in 2017, baby range from Chhattisgarh, UK to Sundararajan if it seeks to choose someone from the south, while Mukhi could be the pick if it seeks to gain ground in Delhi. However, there could be a dark horse candidates as either sides are keeping the cards close to the chest. Sometimes in the past, it is common knowledge the corporate sector too has played more than a discreet role in the selection of the president. In 2017, the Prime Minister had virtually pulled a rabbit out of the hat. Whether he would be able to do so again is a hard question to answer at the present. Much water will have flown in the Ganga and Yamuna by the time he makes a decision, some of it perhaps bringing challenges galore for the PJP and its high command. Along with the rest of the world, the Sumi Baptist Church Zinobodo also celebrated Mother's Day at, on Sunday at Sumi Baptist Church Zinobodo. Dr. Hudon Sumi, Pastor SPCZ, while speaking during the Mother's Day celebration, drew reference of Sarah, Hagar, Betseba, and Mother Mary. Hudon, while drawing parallels to contemporary mothers to that of Hagar and Betseba, said that if there were mothers among the congregation thinking they are totally hop hopeless, then God is still the same and he sees their tears. He said that today's children are listening with their eyes and that they were following the footsteps and that one cannot gossip at home and sing in the church and therefore urged the mothers to make their home a church as the home need church more than anyone else. Realizing the need to untap talents for sports among the youths and to take sports beyond hobbies and recreational activities, the Zogin Range Youth Organization at its first consultative meeting decided to promote professional sports career. At its meeting at Longwesunyu village, the TRYO, which consists of eight villages under the Seminu district, has decided to organize range tournament, also taking into account the achievement of Hyun Shalo Kemp, who was the highest scorer in the recently held 22nd edition of Dr. T. Ao Inter District Football Championship Trophy. Besides the decision to promote sports, the organization also discussed on protecting wildlife species and came up with a resolution to penalize individuals engaging in illegal activities against wildlife in the jurisdiction. Hours after Dajinder Singh Baga got protection from the Punjab and Haryana High Court on May 8, he thanked the Punjab and Haryana High Court and said that the law still works in the country. I 
पंजाब हरियाणा हाई कोर्ट का माइनोरिटी कमीशन का जिन्होंने कल फिर ये दर्शा दिया कि इस देश के अंदर कानून का राज चिंता अगर अरविंद केजरीवाल सोचते हैं कि सत्ता के बल पे पुलिस के बल पे भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कार्यकर्ताओं को डरा सकते हैं झुका सकते हैं तो फिर से मैं उनको कहता एक नहीं सो एफ ए आर कीजिए तो मैं माइनोरिटी कमीशन का धन्यवाद करना चाहता हूं जिन्होंने इस चीज पे पंजाब सरकार को नोटिस भेजा जो वहां पे मेरे को पगड़ी नहीं पहनने दी गई जो पुलिस टीम आई मैंने उनसे बार बार कहा क्योंकि हमारे सिख धर्म में अपने घर के बाहर नंगे सिर नहीं जाया जा सकता ये हमारी रहत मर्यादा के अंदर है यूनियन हेल्थ मिनिस्टर मनसुख मंडाविया रिफ्यूज्ड टू एक्सेप्ट द कोविड-19 डेथ काउंट एस्टिमेटेड बाय वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टेटिंग दैट दे हैव एक्यूरेट डेटा विद देम During three days was the Archindan Shivir. We passed a resolution that we don't believe in WHO's COVID death estimates. Since 1969, we are legally registering births and deaths, said the minister while speaking to ANI. Cool mila ke three din ki, hamari chintan bethak mein ek three din pehle WHO ne देश में कोविड के संदर्भ में मृत्यु का अपना एक अनुमान दिया है लेकिन भारत जैसे देश में 100 साल पहले से बर्थ एंड डेथ रजिस्ट्री मेंटेन की जाती है 1969 से देश में कानूनी तरह से कानूनी तौर पर बर्थ और डेथ रजिस्टर किया जाता है देश में आज 99.9 परसेंट मृत्यु रजिस्टर होते हैं इसलिए हम सब लोगों ने साथ में मिलकर एक रिजोल्यूशन पास किया है कि हम डब्ल्यू का ये जो अनुमान है उसको नहीं मानते हैं और हमारे देश में ही हमारी जो रजिस्ट्री है उसके पास सही डेटा है सभी स्टेट सही डेटा समय पर अपने स्टेट में ये रजिस्ट्री में ऐड करते हैं उसके लिए भी हमने एक रेजोल्यूशन पास किया तीन दिन की चिंतन बैठक बहुत सक्सेसफुल रही आने वाले दिनों में भारत का हेल्थ सेक्टर का एक रोड मैप चिंतन बैठक के आधार पर सुनिश्चित हो वाइल स्पीकिंग अबाउट द स्टे ऑर्डर ऑन द अरेस्ट ऑफ पार्टी जनता पार्टी लीडर तचिंदर बाल सिंह बाघा बाय द पंजाब हाई कोर्ट बीजेपी लीडर आर बी सिंह ऑन मे एट इन डेली कंग्रेचुलेटेड बीजेपी लीडर फॉर द स्टे ऑर्डर पंजाब पुलिस वॉज पुट अगेंस्ट तचिंदर बाल सिंह बाघा टीस पीपल शुड अंडर हैंड दैट द कंट्री रन ऑन द कंस्टिट्यूशन वी विल फाइट अगेंस्ट टिस एंड विल एंश्योर दैट द ट्रूथ विल विन I congratulate Dajinder Bagha for the bail the BJP leader said. उनके मुंह पर जो सोचते हैं कि देश को अपनी अराजकता की सोच से चला लेंगे ये उनको समझना चाहिए कि देश बाबा साहब अंबेडकर जी के संविधान से चलता है ना कि अरविंद केजरीवाल के विम्स एंड फैंसी से उनकी मर्जी से नहीं उनकी अराजकता की सोच से नहीं चलेगा ये बात भगवंत मान जी को समझना चाहिए पूरी की पूरी पंजाब पुलिस पूरी पूरी जुट पंजाब के जो वकील है सरकार के उनको लगा दिया सिर्फ एक तेंदर बग्गा के खिलाफ आज वहाँ पर लॉ एंड ऑर्डर चरमरा आ गया वहाँ पर वहाँ पर रोज एक मर्डर हो रहा है वहाँ पर खालिस्तानी सोच के लोग वापस अपना सिर उठा रहे हैं उनके बारे में कोई चिंता नहीं कर रहे देश बाबा साहब अंबेडकर के संविधान से चलेगा और जितनी जल्दी समय आएगा उतना अच्छा है और अगर ये आगे इसको छेड़ेंगे तो हम ये लड़ाई आगे भी लड़ेंगे और सुनिश्चित ये सत्य की जीत होने वाली है और मैं एक बार तेंदर बग्गा जी को बधाई देता हूं कि आज मदर्स डे पे ये उनको Ahead of the reopening of the party natham Chamoli superintendent of police Shweta Chobe on May 7 in Chamoli informed about the arrangements made by the police she also informed that COs nine inspectors and 26 sub inspectors have been deployed along with SDRF and fire units on the route of the Badrinatham 
Security and other arrangements have been made in the Chamuli district area ahead of the reopening of the Batrina Tam. Three COs, nine inspectors and 26 sub-inspectors have been deployed, along with SDRF and fire units, the SP said. कल बद्रीनाथ धाम जी के कपाट खुल रहे हैं पर्याप्त सुरक्षा व्यवस्था के इंतजाम किए गए हैं पूरी यात्रा के लिए लगभग हमने तीन सीओ, ओ इंस्पेक्टर 26 सब इंस्पेक्टर और पर्याप्त संख्या में पीएसी, एसडीआरएफ की यूनिट्स फायर यूनिट्स हमारी एलआईयू की यूनिट्स जो हैं वो तैनात की गई हैं और इसके अतिरिक्त जो हमारा पूरा रूट है गौचर से लेकर बद्रीनाथ धाम का उसमें हमने उनको हमने पांच सेक्टर्स में डिवाइड किया है जिसमें हमने अपनी हाईवे पेट्रोल यूनिट्स अपने टीएसआई ट्रैफिक इंस्पेक्टर्स को तैनात किया है ताकि रूट में कहीं पे भी जाम ना लगे और हमारी छह सीजनल चौकी जो हैं वो पूरे यात्रा रूट में ऑपरेशनल की गई हैं और हमारे टूरिस्ट सेंटर्स जिसमें टूरिस्ट पुलिस की तैनाती की गई है खास तौर पे और उन्हें हर तरह का ट्रेनिंग भी दी गई है बिहेवियरल स्किल्स में और ताकि वो टूरिस्ट की जो है जो यात्री आ रहे हैं उनकी हर तरह से सहायता कर सके हमारा उद्देश्य यही है कि जो भी यात्री यहाँ आ रहे हैं बद्रीनाथ धाम में उनकी यात्रा सुखद हो और उनको किसी भी प्रकार की परेशानी का सामना न करना पड़े On the occasion of the 61st Foundation Day of the Nidaji Subhas National Institute of Sports in Patiala, Union Sports Minister Anurag Thakur on May 7 informed that the Modi government has invested Rs 150 crores for the development of the infrastructure in NSNIS Patiala in the last few years. NSNIS Patiala has completed 61 years. Under the Modi government, we have invested Rs 150 crores for the development of sports infrastructure here. Players will get a lot of benefits through this. We're aiming to engage more players and trainers for upcoming sports events, the union minister said. खेल जगत के लिए एनआईएस पटियाला की भूमिका रही वो सराहनीय है अभूतपूर्व है और मोदी जी की सरकार में हमने यहाँ पर आधारभूत ढांचा यानी कि इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर को और सुधार करने के लिए ताकि खेलों का इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और बेहतर हो उसके लिए लगभग डेढ़ सौ करोड़ रुपया पिछले कुछ वर्षों में खर्च किया है खिलाड़ी हों कोचेज हों अकेडमिक्स की बात हो या फील्ड्स बनाने की बात हो सबकी तरफ काम किया और आज भी जो फूड कोर्ट और मॉडर्न किचन जहां एक और वो बनाकर दिया गया है 500 खिलाड़ी एक साथ वहां पर बैठ पाएंगे तो वहीं पर स्ट्रेंथ एंड कंडीशनिंग हॉल जो लगभग 23 करोड़ रुपये की लागत से बनेगा जहां पर ये सुविधा भी होगी कि एथलेटिक ट्रैक 80 मीटर का तीन लेन का उसके अंदर ही बना होगा और बाकी खेलों के लिए भी उसके अंदर सुविधाएँ होंगी ये बहुत आवश्यकता थी ताकि मौसम खराब हो जैसा आपको पता है पटियाला में धुंध बारिश और बाकी सब खराब मौसम के चलते जो खिलाड़ियों के तीन चार महीने खराब होते थे अब वो नहीं होंगे हम भविष्य में ये भी देख रहे हैं कि कैसे ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोगों को स्पोर्ट्स कोचिंग में ज़्यादा जोड़ा जा सके और खिलाड़ी के लिए और सुविधाएँ मिलें स्पीकिंग अबाउट द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ अ साइक्लॉन ओडिशा स्पेशल रिलीफ कमिश्नर P.K. Jena on May 7 in Bhubaneswar informed that a low pressure has converted into a depression which is located almost 1300 km from southeast of Puri. He further informed that this depression is moving in northwest direction and will be a cyclone by May 10. About the probable cyclone is uh, this, that in the meanwhile the low pressure has been converted to a, a depression and uh, currently it is located almost 1300 kilometer south uh, southeast of uh, uh, puri moving in a northwesterly direction by 10th it will be a cyclone and then it is expected that the cyclone will uh, recurve towards northeast north northeast while it is in the sea and it will move parallel to the odisha coast so as per the estimation of IMD, as well as that of JTWC, 
we don't expect it to make a landfall in south odisha coast or in north andhra pradesh possibly it will move parallel to the odisha coast but at what distance it is still not clear but preliminary estimation suggests that the impact of the cyclone in terms of wind will not be much in the odisha coast and uh, regarding rainfall on 10th we are expecting rainfall in three districts gajpati ganjam and uh, puri and on 11th we are expecting rainfall in ganjam khurda puri katak and jagatsimpur districts Responding to Prashant Gishore's statement about Bihar in which he stated that he has not seen any development in the last 30 years, Rashtri Arjuna Data leader Tejasvi Yadav on May 7 dismissed all the claims made and said that his statement does not make any sense as he has never been a factor in anything so far. प्रशांत किशोर बिहार आए थे उन्होंने कहा कि लालू प्रसाद का पंद्रह साल रहा नीतीश कुमार का पंद्रह साल रहा फिर भी बिहार में कोई विकास नहीं हुआ कोई विकास नहीं हुआ कोई मतलब नहीं है इस बात का कि उनके बातों को हम जो है उसकी जवाब हम दे इसका मतलब ही नहीं बनता कोई आधार ही नहीं बनता है मतलब Uttarakhand Chief Minister Bhushkar Singh Dhami along with his wife offered prayers at Har Ki Bauri in Haridwar on May 8. Dhami will contest the upcoming by-election in the state from the Chambawad Assembly seat. That's all for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.